All right, let's do this. There we go. We're live, baby. I hope you guys are able to to see this. I've been working on some... Uh... watercolors here so these are very cool these are six by three by six inches they're really cool because it's just it's there's so much movement so much fluidity right i mean that's watercolor come on uh here's one that i just did also i really like this one look at this one. Oh yeah baby all right so i'm going to show you how how i'm doing this okay because i know some people are like dude how do you do that well it's really it's really very simple okay this is this is how i like to create watercolors i'll do the drawing okay with ink make sure that the ink doesn't bleed okay and uh here let's let's open it there you go that way you guys can see a bit more make sure that the ink doesn't open doesn't doesn't bleed that way we can you know get started with this so here's what i got i got one of those little koi sets okay And this brush is like super kick-ass. This is like a kick-ass brush right here. Then I got my freaking Starbucks. Mm. Let me see. Are you guys able to see the whole enchilada here? Okay. Mm, enchilada. I'm getting hungry. All right. Here we go. Okay. You guys are about to see some freaking magic. <laughs> that's simple see you gotta let the brush do the job the, 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 the job baby so many of us don't let the brush do the job the the the, the brush has to do its job uh it's like it's like the sumi brush right they they do their job all you gotta do is just you know it's 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 on the rest man it's on the rest you just gotta pow 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 baby <laughs> you gotta let it do its job look at this big big ass brush for my big watercolors mm. cha -chan -chan. Uh, then i get to the little one All right you gotta let it let it do its job now now look well, guys the brush does its job okay many of us try to force something in there and you don't have to force it it's just you know just let it let it let it do its thing fashion fashion baby mm. Mm. Fashion, fashion, baby. Hold it right here. Simple, yet effective. Okay. This is, here's another one that I did. Let me show you, because I'm like super chingon today. Bam, look at that. Let me do a close up. Okay, so it's 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 a combination of this is the whole thing about loose painting, loose drawing. Someone told me you don't do loose drawing. That's not true. I'm like, shut your face. You don't even know what you're talking about. See, if it goes out like that, leave it alone. It could be a bow, you know. Leave it alone. If it leaves the line, right? Why do I put green somewhere? Because that you have to, you, you know, like. This is what's fun about this ish. You have to understand also not just composition, but you have to you have to I mean you have to do your work, right? You have to understand also color theory, why reds and greens go together, not just because it looks cool on Christmas. And so you know you have to you have to kind of do your your you have to do your job, right? Why reflections? Why reflections? Why do I do reflections? What's what's the deal with those? Every time that I paint, uh, not every single time, but many times I do reflections. Why? Why do I do that? You know, there's a there's a reason for that, 
and now I do it mechanical now that mechanically right that now I just do it but th there's a reason why I started doing that look at that eyes eyes baby ding, 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 ding. mucho bueno the other day I was thinking about uh, Ace of Bays baby <laughs> I think this shit dates me I was thinking about Ace of Bays for some reason, I don't know, I think I was feeling uh, melancholic. And I was like, hey, it's a base. My wife was laughing because I was like, talking about Ace of Base for some reason. Look at it. Let it do its job. Just imagine where the dark tones would be. That's all. Maybe a belt. <sighs> the hair. Start waving at some people because all beautiful people are here. I need to say hi to you guys. Mucho bueno. Uh, Henry Fine Art says, Jose, yeah, another painting video. Thanks, Jose. Love watching you paint. I love it. I love it when you guys are here, too. Thank you. I love it when you're here. It's, uh... Remember what I said about, about some green? Let me put it in there. Let it be there. Now, if you feel like you mess up, do not panic. All you got to do is just get one of these. And just leave it alone like that, you know? Let it mean something. Let it mean something. Let it mean nothing. I don't know. For those of you who are like, oh, my God, like, what are you doing, dude? Uh, I'm showing you guys some fashion Fashion, fashion, baby. Believe it or not, sometimes people ask me to do fashion, fashion, baby. So I'll go in and I'll do some fashion stuff. Now, I don't do what people tell me to do. <laughs> but sometimes, sometimes they have some good ideas and I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta do some fashion, fashion, baby. And, and especially these little ones, they just, you know, it's, there's so much fun stuff. It's like little, little kiss, kiss, right? It's a, it's a kiss, 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 baby. Now, if you're doing this and, and you're listening to Lana Del Rey, oh, yeah, baby. Or Marina Diamantes. I love how those two ladies sing. So I'm like, yeah, I'm missing that. I'm missing some Marina Diamantes. My wife got me introduced to, to, to their music. I had no idea about any of that. I, I, used, to be, uh, I used to be into the rock and roll. Um, and then I got into pop music for some reason. I don't know why. It's because it's so well orchestrated. That's why. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like that high-end pop, that bubblegum high-end pop. I, I don't know if it's bubblegum, but I, I like to call it that. Because I was all like into rock and roll and shit, like hard rock. Uh, it's so well done. There's just something about it. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. I, I, I used to I used to record when I was when I was younger. I used to work in a recording studio, and and so I was I, I used to play a lot with with um, uh, composing. You know, like not composing like high end. Like oh, I'm gonna compose with notes. No, just orchestrating music, right? And uh, and I've noticed that some of the pop uh, stars, their music was just like, oh, man, it was off the charts. It was so good. But I never really got into it until later on with uh, my wife was the one who got me into, into pop music. Dance music, I guess. You call it dance, not pop. I don't know, something like that. And then I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've been missing this in my life. Anyways, but yeah, when I was a musician, I, I, I noticed that. Look at that. Look at that. Eyes, eyes, baby. Dun, 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 dun. See, the whole thing about painting like this is that you're suggesting. This is, this is the thing about painting loose. You're suggesting. I'm suggesting something's happening. I just don't know what. I'm suggesting I need some Starbucks, baby. Mmm. 
But yeah, I'm suggesting stuff, right? Like, like I don't really know what the hell's going on, but then, then I guess something in me knows what's going on. Something in me knows that. By the way, guys, I will be putting these paintings for sale. They're going to be in my eBay shop because that's, that's where I roll. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think they're going to be, they're going to be somewhere for around 60 bucks. They're three by six inches. I'm going to put them for about 60 bucks, but, uh, cause I'm cool like that. Right. Some people are like, Oh my God, you did it so fast. Why $60? Cause it took me 20 years to learn how to do it so fast. That's why. Uh, so Starbucks. Yeah. So they're going to be for 60 bucks. Uh, but you beautiful people here on Instagram, Baby, you get them for twenty nine, twenty nine ninety nine. I do. I, are you out of your mind? Twenty nine bucks. All right. So, let me know which one you like. Uh, and then, bam! If you're watching this on YouTube, you don't get this deal. <laughs> Take that, <laughs> suckers. <laughs> Sorry, this deal is only for the people on Instagram. If you're watching this on YouTube, you ain't, you ain't getting this deal. You, you're going to pay 60 bucks for this drawing. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so let's do a, a, a little uh, run one by one and show you guys what this whole deal is. That way you guys can... Those of you who want one, you guys can choose it. Okay? So I'm going to put a white piece of paper... What piece of paper? And then that way you guys can see, and then that way you guys can be like, dude, I want that one. I choose you, Pokemon. Okay, I'm not locking you into it, but baby, I gotta sell too, okay? So if I don't sell, I can't keep doing this. Some of you guys are like, why, why are you selling? Because I have to. I have to sell, baby. Would love to see you sketch one too. Definitely will. We'll do a video on that. Bam, baby, that's our first one. Uno. Uno muy bueno. All right, that's our first one. Look at that. Mm, ooh la la. Okay, here comes the fashion model. Fashion model. Fashion model. Fashion. Yeah. That's the first one, okay? Numero uno. Boom, baby. Numero dos. Fashion, baby. Fashion, baby. There's a second one. Remember, guys, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be retailing this for sixty bucks a piece. You, you will get them for twenty nine bucks each. Okay, if you want multiples, if you want multiples, you'll get them for twenty five bucks. Twenty five bucks. I don't know if you want like if you want all of them, I'll give them to you for twenty bucks each. Boom, baby! Look at that. Bashem, baby. Bashem, baby. <laughs> There's my, there's my dance music right there. Boom. There you go. All you got to do is like, dude, I love that one. Oh, my God. Make a, do a screen, a screen grab or something and then DM me and be like, this is the one I want. I choose you, Pokemon. And then I'll be like, all right. Here's, here's, how, here's how I'm selling this one, guys. Okay, I'm doing PayPal. If you, don't, if you don't do PayPal, it's okay. We'll find another way to, to invoice you. But uh, you don't have to have a PayPal account to pay with PayPal, okay? So it's, it's totally, I mean, come on, it's 21st century, PayPal. So there's that one. Boom, baby. Look at this. Fashion, fashion, baby. Dun, dun, dun. All right? Let's keep moving because we got all kinds of stuff we're going to be sharing. Boom, baby. Here's another one. Molto bueno. Boom. So now, guys, the thing about these paintings is that they're done by moi. I mean, how cool is that? You know how you can tell? Look at this signature. It says world's greatest living artist. Just, I couldn't fit it in there, so I had to put a little, a, little, a little signature there. Just a little bam. World's greatest living artist. Yeah. Look at that one. Yeah. Boom, baby. Here's the other one. And each, each one's like so unique. You know, it's got its, it's, got its je ne sais quoi. La Francois. Boom. Here's the other one. And here's one of my favorite ones. Bam. I just love this one. I like the simple ones. Something about the simple ones that I just really like. Me, because I'm a, I'm a minimalist at heart. 
Simplicity uh, Da Vinci said, Leonardo Da Vinci, okay? Not, not Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo Da Vinci said, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Okay? So that's why I make him simple, because I want to be like cool like Leonardo da Vinci. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. It's one of his famous quotes. Now, you don't want to disagree with me, because if you're disagreeing with me, you're disagreeing with da, with da Vinci. And come on, let's not do that. There's no need to do that. Look at that. Boom, baby. Boom. Here's the other one. Time for another Starbucks. Ta, 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 Starbucks. Mmm. All right. So they're 20, 29 bucks a piece, guys. I retail them for 60. And if you if you want all of them, I'll I'll cut you a deal. I'll I'll give you like I don't know, 20 bucks a piece. If you want all of them, you're like, "Oh my god, I want all of them. I choose all of you." I think this one's really cool. I think all of them are cool. I just can't, I can't let my wife see them because then she wants to keep them. She's all into fashion and whatnot. Every time I do something, uh, some, uh, you know, some ladies with dresses or something like that, my wife's like, I got to keep that. I'm like, no, dude, I got to sell it. Uh, it's got to go. We can't keep the stuff we make. It's got to go out. How cool is it that thanks to like live streaming and all that stuff, like, we can get into people's studios and, like, actually see the stuff, you know? Uno a uno, mano a mano. Pecho a pecho. Look at that. <laughs> uh, Krig, Krigger says, uh, Krigger X5 says, Jose, after oil painting sets for 30 days, how do you package for shipping? I'll do a video on that. That's a great question. Uh, I, have, I actually have a video on that on, on YouTube. You can, you can go check out Jose Trujillo packaging a painting or something. My wife, my wife uh, was packaging a painting. We recorded that. Uh, colorful caffeine. Good Thursday. Thank you, Angie. Love that about the internet. Oh my god, I, I'm so cold. It's cold in my studio. I have to have heaters here. I learned so much from you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Molto, molto grazie. I don't know if that's is that Italian. I think I'm making up stuff here. Boom, baby. Look at that. It's like, it's like fashion, fashion, baby. It's like matador fashion, but not you know, bullfighter. I don't know what is it. You tell me. I believe that artwork is not really uh, finished by the artist. It starts with the artist, but it's finished with the, uh, with the person that's observing the artwork, right? With the viewer. Because I think that we're all putting something together and then we see it, you know? Check out my PM for, for, uh, to you from a week ago. Oh, totally will. Sorry about that. Guys. If you PM me and I haven't gotten back to you, I really apologize for that. Truly, sincerely apologize for that. Uh, I got I to gotta pick up my game on that. The DMs and the PMs. All right, so there you guys have it. If you guys liked any of this or all of them, let me know. If you want all of them, I'm going to give them to you for 20 bucks a piece. I mean, that's a, that's a super, like, that's a stupid deal. It's like ridiculous, right? But that's who I am. Ridiculous. And, uh, but if you want one individually, individualmente, you're going to get it for 29 bucks a piece. Now, why am I doing this? Why am I putting some ridiculous prices on my artwork? The reason why, guys, is because I, I am an artist who is on a quest. I want to share my artwork with the world. And one of the ways to do that is to make it attainable, to make it affordable, to make it to... Make sure that there is no freaking excuse why you can't own one of my art pieces. This is one of the things that I dislike the most. I love your art, but I can't afford it. Dude, that's no, that's stupid. Of course you can. Anyone can afford one of my art pieces. I got stuff from like 20 bucks to 20,000 bucks right now. Okay? 
You go to my website, or you, you want a commission anywhere from $20 to $20,000 and everything in between. Uh, so there is no excuse why you can't, you know, if you got little pockets, medium-sized pockets, or you got one of those nice big pockets, I got something for you. Okay, I got something for you. Do not feel left out because I got something for you. Something for you. Look at that, man. Now you can pair this ones. Ooh la la, you can pair them. Like I would pair these two together. I'm gonna show you right now. I like this one. I can pair this one with, it's like Pokemon. I wanna pair them. Choose you. I could pair those two together. Now, for those of you who are like, man, do you know about art? Of course I know about art. Now we're creating, right here, we're creating tension. It's called tension, okay? When two pieces face each other, in this case, look at the hats, how they're doing. They're doing a mountain, right? They're facing each other. This is a perfect little way. It's almost feng shui, baby. Put them together. It creates, uh, it creates great visual weight, and, and the tension is just right, Okay, it would look kind of off if they were if they were looking sideways or somewhere else. Like this would make it look kind of off. This would make it look a little bit. See, because now you have an arrow. Okay, I'm giving you guys a little lesson here on displaying. Now you have an arrow. It's going that way. See the hats? They're going that way. They're going to the right. So your eye will naturally shift to the right and away from the artwork. You don't want to do that, baby. You want to keep it with the artwork. So how do you do it? You make sure the arrows are pointing at each other. Boom, boom, baby. That's how you do it, okay? I know my shit. Bam! And if you're an artist, you gotta do that, baby. You gotta know your ish, okay? You gotta know your ish. Look at that. These two ladies, these are beautiful, but they're both looking that way. If you really want to make sure that this thing is, is even more impactful and when you display them together, when you pair them, Make sure that they're looking at each other. Pair with something like this. Boom, baby! Mm, that's what happens when you know you're ish. All right, guys, take care. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. The world's greatest living artist, for that matter. Uh, if you're on YouTube, I take that back. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be mad. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm not gonna be meanie. I'm not gonna be meanie weenie. You get a deal, too. Just, uh, just uh, message me or click the link on on my uh on the video somewhere below and and you'll get you'll get a deal everybody gets a deal you get a deal you get a deal you get a deal everyone gets a deal all right guys 29 bucks a piece i'm retailing them for 60 bucks that's a hell of a deal uh if they are this is this is just the way they are once i put this in a mat and i frame it which is what i do I, I, I take them to galleries or I sell them to interior designers. Those babies go for over 200 bucks a piece, okay, once they're matted and framed. So getting them for 29 bucks, it's like stupid funny, but that's, that's how I do it, all right? So my loss, your gain. Take care, guys. Adios.